everyone and welcome. Thanks for joining me. Welcome YouTubers, fellow friends of the world. Welcome. Today I'm in my shop. It's cold outside. Um, it's probably not as cold as it is where some of you live. But um, yeah, today I'm in the garage so the sound might be a little off. The light, light might be a little off but I'm trying to do the best I can. Today I have a project that was kind of given to me by a friend. Um, my friend Gretchen asked me to make a stand for my friend Stacy's 50th birthday. Um, it's a surprise, but not a surprise. So the surprise is going to be that she has no idea that I completely changed the concept of what she asked me to do. So Stacy loves the Mad Hatter, and so we're going with kind of a Mad Hatter theme party. And so she asked me to make a sign. And so I'm not sure if you guys can see this. There, look at the light. I kind of drew a picture of my idea. So here's the base, and here's the little arrows, you guys can see it, see the little arrows here, and then this is the top. And then the part I didn't really draw that I added later right here was what I'll show you in a minute. A list of things to do, and then I drew some ideas. Started with paper, this is kind of what I started with. This is the other idea that I had. And instead of going with, you know, the cat or Alice or any of those things, I printed out some different mushrooms. And so my idea was based on some of these prints. Sorry, they're all stuck together, but you get an idea of what I'm looking for. So, because I'm on a time crunch, guys, I already cut out a bunch of the stuff, and I'll just kind of walk you through what I did um, already. So, I used the jigsaw here. This is a jigsaw without the battery in it um, to cut out the base of the stand right here with some plywood and then I just used the whole saw to cut out the center and then I used the multi-tool without the battery in it right now I used the multi-tool to cut out the center of this hole just right down in there so it cuts really nicely through all the layers and that worked out great and then this piece here, I already cut this, this is going to go right in here for the sand, like so. And if you're wondering what this little piece is right here that I got notched out, I used the skill saw with this and the multi-tool. So I cut it with the skill saw and then I used the multi-tool to notch it out. And then, these are some of the arrows I cut out. So these are going to go all along here. You know, up the board and stuff. And this part right here, as you can see, woo, there we go, little mushrooms. So I'm gonna actually get paint this with paint. So this little notch right here, this will slide right in. So once I get it all painted, you can, you'll be able to tell in detail what that is. So I'm gonna show you guys on my scroll saw, I just bought that, um, how to cut the top of this out. And I have a bigger one back here that I'm going to use this Dremel with. And this is a real tiny router bit. Ooh, I'll come close. Let's see, there we go. See, it's got a little edge in there. It's actually a little router bit. I'm going to actually show you guys how I finished notching out the big mushroom that I already have clamped back here. So I have both the back pieces clamped. So. That's what that's going to be for. So I'll show you guys how to use that. And then once we do that, I'm going to paint everything. I'm going to just go ahead and spray paint everything, get a base coat on it. Um, and then I'm going to hand paint this piece and this piece once I get it all finished. Okay. So we'll take a break just for a second until I get the scroll saw set up. And then I will show you guys how we just finished cutting the rest of this piece. 
Okay, so I got the scroll saw set up and this is all ready to go. Like I said, we're just going to finish cutting this top piece off. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys, or ladies, long, long haired people of the world, um, it's a good idea to get your hair put back. So I'm going to do that real quick. So safety first, got to be safe so nobody gets hurt. So, safety glasses, and I have some hear, hearing protection, so I'm going to put that on before we start. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, I replaced the blade that it initially came with, it was a, a tinier blade. I ended up putting um, a number 15 on there, um, here, pack of skill saw blades, I mean uh, scroll saw blades, excuse me, by skill. Anyways, um, so I put a new one of those on, and we're going to go ahead and get this ready to cut. So there's a little um, guard on it, so I'm going to move the guard down so that it's closer to the wood, so that it doesn't pop up if it does decide to slide. So I'm going to get that in there and tighten that down. A little too tight. Just that up just a tiny bit. There we go. Hearing protection. Remember, no gloves because we don't want our fingers to get caught. We don't want any fabric in there. Any long sleeves, just tuck them back a little bit. Remember, always turn it off before you do anything. Clear your scraps. I just wanted to show you guys I left a little excess because I wanted to make this a little bit taller so I could have a little bit extra room for sanding. So anyways, that's what that is. In case you're wondering, that is not a rabbit. That's gonna be just some like shrubs. <laughs> anyways, so there's that piece. And then I'm going to show you guys how to use the Dremel tool with the um, router attachment to cut out the other one. So take a little break and we'll get over to that one. Okay, so this is the other cutout, the one that's actually going to go on top of the sand. And I already attached the little router attachment. Um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut out this last piece. I already cut these ones out. And so I'm just going to get after this real quick and um, we'll go from there. So, I have, this is a Milwaukee one, and I have, it has speed settings from one all the way to six, and I'm running this about four and a half. That way I don't get too out of control. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to cut those out a little bit. So anyways, it's going to be fun to see what it turns out with all the paint on it. So I'm going to finish sanding these two pieces. And then, like I said, I'm going to spray paint them. And then I will show you guys the finished product. What do you think? I think that might be fun. All right, so this is our <laughs> weird way of drying 
our painted stuff in the garage. It's too cold outside, so we got it all spray painted, and this is how we're going to dry it in the garage while I'm doing laundry. Super fun. Hey, it's me. We're here at Lonnie's today. I coerced her to help me with uh, the mushrooms today because I'm not really good at painting, so... She's got some cool little paint trays, and we have all these paint colors that you can't see yet. Yet. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to play around, and we're going to decorate the mushrooms for the stand. Um, I did get some kind of weird, crazy paper that I'll sh kind of show you guys. It's it's kind of hard to see in the light, actually. Let me see if I can the darker It's one. embossed. It's got... Uh, Looks like flowers, a floral print, if you can see that. There you go, Lonnie. Good job. So it's real pretty. So I just got texture. it at Michael's. Um, I just kind of liked it because it was a little bit different. So I kind of pre-cut one out. I'm just going to show you guys right here. See that? You can't really see. And I'm going to put it right like so on that. So Lonnie and I are going to get after it. So we're just going to let you guys enjoy us doing some painting on the mushrooms. And then we will show you guys what the signs turned out like um, with all the sands on them. So cool. We'll catch you back here in a sec. Sounds like fun. Okay, you ready? So Lonnie is showing you the embossed paper that I purchased at Michael's. So we got two sheets of it. I'm gonna re-show you guys because this one she cut out to put on here. So it's she's got it all perfectly. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it perfectly cut out to fit. That looks really cool for the top of the mushroom. Ooh. So there's a, two different colors. See, there's a gold one. And then I like the lighter color one, which is, uh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of a champagne color. It yeah, like. I don't know. It's pretty, though. Yeah. Anyway, so cool. it's kind of fun. I just thought we'd try it today. Whoops. Well, he's got the head of my mushroom over here. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> And then in this lovely potato salad container, y'all, is Mod Podge. <laughs> we're actually not eating. We're having Mod Podge for... There we go. And then we have some water and all of our paintbrushes and then all of these wonderful colors that we're going to play with. And then these cool little paint palettes. So, so can I do the the darker colored on these two side mushrooms you can do whatever you want and then paint the little and the big one yep that's why i gave you the big one because what do you think you're the lady not necessarily so but right, would just... you like to use my pencil yes because if you use a pencil you can just trace the back side of the paper and then cut it out with some handy dandy scissors and then these are just some inspirational pictures that i kind of went off of for the design if you can kind of tell I'm going to actually get those out the way. This is cool paper. I really like this. I'm glad you found it. I am too. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we're going to put it and hit it with a wiffle ball bat. Okay, so this <laughs> brush is really hard from yesterday. <laughs> oh. Do you need to run it in the water to soften it up? I do, but I'm going to go with my... I've already got the Mod Podge on here, so I'm just going to go with it. Okay. So I'm just going to set this on top like so. Position it. Push it down. I'm going to need a little bit more on here, actually. A lot thicker, if you will. Because this paper seems a ton of painting. And may I borrow the scissors? Yes, I'm hogging them. Thank sorry. you.
All right, guys, so we're going to be cleaning up and wrapping up the paint portion after I just set that right on top of that. Oh, my God. Can you believe I just did that? So oh, I pissed. did? I just sent that right on top. Oh, my goodness. Ugh! Okay, guys, so these are our finalized signs. So this one says party. This one says 50. What the f You know? And then Stacy's hole instead of the rabbit hole. And then in here and down here. So tomorrow when we get all of these things completed, we will show you the final project of the completed sign for Stacy's 50th birthday party. So I hope you enjoyed the better part of painting. Lonnie is finishing up that huge mushroom. It looks amazing. Do you think so? Yep, I do, I like it. I like the contrast. See the redder color and then she did mix that with a little bit of black and made it a deeper red. So that looks really great. So she just got one more little one right here to paint and then we'll be all done with this part. So we'll show you guys the complete project when we're all done. Okay, so here's the final project, all completed. Unfortunately, everybody missed the party, so sorry you guys didn't get to join us, but this is it, final project. We just did painting on the mushrooms and we used some textured paper you can see on this one right here, this one right here. And then I used moss, real Spanish moss for there and down here. Green moss, reindeer moss, collaboration.